Hi, y'all. You know what time it is. It's story time with Chris. And finally, my tattoos covering is off. It is gorgeous. I'm probably going to go for another session. But shout out to Pierre Negley because this Cardinal's Wing is pretty great, y'all. Like the color is super scarlet and gorgeous. But enough about me. We're here to talk about moms. My mother especially. This is a special message to my mother. Um, I Most people know her as Ro or Diva or Diva Davis or Miss Davis. Uh, my mother is an incredible woman who through trial and tribulation raised me and my brother and all of us in our family, all of the younger kids with strength and perseverance and love and abundance therein and i've always been grateful for that i think one of the greatest gifts my mom has ever given me is well actually it's a two-prong gift so one of them is patience just learning how to not only take my time with certain things but realizing that just because things do not work out doesn't mean they won't work out later and the other gift she's given me is forgiveness because at a young age I was bullied a lot um, for the way I talk the way I carry myself my sexuality and my mom was always she's just the type of person that just says like don't allow people to put their hands on you and don't allow people to dictate to you who you are and one of the favorite things my mom used to say, and she still says it sometimes, is uh, the defeatist attitude does not suit you. And that has always stuck out to me. Um, one particular memory that immediately comes to mind, my mom is actually watching. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Ma. I love you. One memory that comes up immediately is when um, we had just moved to a house off of Thunderwood Lane. This is when I was living in Georgia at the time. Um, and my mom worked very hard. You know, she was working 12 hour shifts, five days a week and, you know, doing everything she could to be, you know, the support that we needed for the house, putting groceries in the fridge, uh, taking us to school, making sure we had school supplies, making sure we had clothes on our back. And if we, of course, did really well with our grades, making sure that we had our reward, whatever form that would be. For me, it was books, books and video games. My punishment, if I ever got in trouble from my thought was, give me all your books. Give me all of your books. Ma, the new Harry Potter? Give me all your books. And my mom is a woman who is about skill and hard work and being consistent and that is something that I pride myself on wherever I go even now where I work at, at Ellie's and even at Tom's Market I am the type of individual even if it may seem minuscule I will go above and beyond every single day I come into work because I was taught at a very young age as a person as a gay person of color life is going to be a lot harder for me but that never stopped me from loving people and loving life because everybody has the ability to just connect and be cordial with each other be compassionate and so i just wanted to give a big big thank you to my mom because the story i'm about to tell you is actually really sad but it actually is incredibly heartwarming so one day my mom had come home and had bought us i think it was wendy's and you know money was tight at the time and ma sat down at the table and she's like y'all we are very poor if we had any more money in our bank account we'd be flat broke something to that and i don't know what came over me but i literally stopped myself and said ma we may be poor but we are rich in spirit <laughs> and she just laughed and she looked at me she's like honey that's really sweet but we still poor though <laughs> And for me, <laughs> she's going to pinch me when she sees me in June. For me, that was a, a beautiful moment because I didn't need to have expensive baubles and trinkets to know that I was loved. I did not need to have like highest name brand clothes you could think of to know that I was well off. And I was poor, but I was never made to feel poor. And though my mom 
was a single parent and doing a lot for us, we had help from family, from close family friends who looked out for us in the best way that they could. Um, and I will always be grateful for that because it taught me that no matter how adverse the situation may look, things will always work out. And God, he may not be there when you want him, but he will be there right on time. And I know that in my adult life, when I was at rock bottom, when I didn't have a dive to my name, I always looked to my mom and certain people in my family that just really pushed me to look past the badness of a situation and just make do with what you have and know that somebody always somebody in the woodwinds is gonna always have your back and I just thank I thank my mom for them trying not to cry (laughs) y'all so I got this book I got this book when um, I was going to college at Wright State and um, I had this my freshman year. I got this the day I moved in. And um, I always look at this very fondly because it definitely speaks a lot about my mom and how she cared for me. And um, I'm going to read that to you. So thank you. <sighs> mothers and sons. Why sons always need their mothers. A son needs a mother to teach him when to lead and when to follow. Yep. Riding bikes, which I did a lot growing up in Cleveland. Riding my bike all the time. A son needs a mother to be there for his family. All the happy people. A son needs a mother to keep traditions alive. My mother used to read to me and my youngest brother um, a lot growing up. She used to read a lot and we used to have this children's Bible that was illustrated, which I hope she still has it. If not, I'll have to try to find a copy somehow. But it was a great way to keep us connected spiritually as well as Intellectually, just to broaden our vocabulary and to learn that God always has a plan. A son needs a mother to help him find his courage. <laughs> a son needs a mother to encourage brotherly love. <laughs> A son needs a mother to play with when it snows. Now, hold on. My mother has definitely said she's like, I don't play in the snow. She is not a fan of the snow and ice. But she will definitely get us set up to go out and play. (laughs) A son needs a mother to keep him close. A son needs a mother to recognize accomplishments, big and small. (laughs) I have a binder behind me, actually it's over here on the second shelf, of every single report card, every single merit award, honor roll, perfect attendance, any award that I've ever gotten, any acclamation that I've ever received is in that binder because my mother takes note. A son needs a mother to give him a push to get himself started. (laughs) A son needs a mother to give him the tools to be independent. At a very young age, I was taught how to do my own laundry, cook a meal, clean, wash dishes I had chores and it taught me how to have structure and disciplining myself to be consistent and helpful in any situation 
A son needs a mother to show him how to dance. <laughs> and we have done some dancing over our years. <laughs> a son needs a mother to help him find balance in his life. Fun fact, me and my mom love yoga. We've never gone to a class together, which might change when I come to visit, if studios are open. But... Um, I did a lot of yoga in high school and I still do it to this day. And Ma would always go to hot yoga classes and just be rejuvenated. A son needs a mother to show him both patience and persistence. A son needs a mother to make things all better. A son needs a mother to retell his most triumphant moments. <laughs> and my mom will tell you stories about me that are both good and bad and silly all at the same time. A mother, a son needs a mother to show him how to treat a friend. And that just wasn't with friends. It was family as well. We, Ma always says... Uh, we don't don't act ugly. God don't like ugly. We do not act ugly to people, which means we treat everybody with respect and kindness. A son needs a mother to find what's special in each of us. A son needs a mother to show him how to take care of the world around him. A son needs a mother to show him that you should always have a sense of humor. <laughs> a son needs a mother to teach him how to drive, which there was one occasion where my mom attempted to teach me how to drive <laughs> and it didn't go well. I went over the um, speed bump a little too hard on the gas and my mom was just like, get out of the car, get out. But it was okay, because I did hit the gas a little bit hard. <laughs> a son needs a mother to set boundaries in his life. Oh, my mother is a... She's a fun lady, but she is very cool, calm, and collected and strict. And when, what she said is what she said. And it better be done in the way that she said it. And I have a lot of respect for my mom because of that. A son needs a mother to provide an honest and fair opinion. Which is always true because when we do talk, especially in my adult life, my mother is very tactful and very honest about what she thinks about certain situations or, or anything I present to her. She's very frank with me in the best way. A son needs a mother to help him stay true to himself. A son needs a mother to show him how to be a straight shooter. <laughs> and I did play pool over at other people's houses growing up. A son needs a mother to help him celebrate his birthday. I remember... I remember one particular birthday that was really, really wonderful. Uh, don't get me wrong. All of my birthdays growing up have been awesome. This one in particular was great because it was my 13th birthday. I had my favorite, my mom cooked my favorite meal, which is her spaghetti is awesome. Her liver and onions is great. Yes, I said liver and onions because it's dynamite. I don't care what anybody says, liver and onions is thebob.com. And at this party, I had an ice cream cake with a photo of me as an infant. and said, happy 13th birthday, Chris. It was great. A um, couple family and family friends were there. It was an awesome, awesome party. A son needs a mother to hold him up until he can support himself. Now, my mom has... Uh, hmm, I've never 
wanted to rely on my parents for financial support because I was taught to be independent and to do my best to be self-sufficient. But when I didn't need it, my mother has always done her best to be as helpful as possible. But the main support comes from my emotional support and my mental support with someone who is living with severe depression and anxiety. A son needs a mother to keep him, to give him safety and warmth. A son needs a mother to let him rock out. <laughs> Going to, growing up, I was always a performer. I will sing and dance at the drop of a hat growing up. I can't really dance much. I can dance, but I can't like, I can't do choreography. I just, I just can't. Um, but I've always loved the fact that my mama always supported my love of music and singing. I love to sing. A son needs a mother to show him how to spread his wings. A son needs a mother to encourage his creativity. A son needs a mother to teach him about the world around him. So my mother was notorious growing up of giving us personal homework assignments, um, teaching us our cursive and letter writing and working on speeches, um, just very much well-rounded well household. A son needs a mother to welcome his new family. This definitely is about my youngest brother Kyle because he has a beautiful wife and a lovely daughter who is my youngest niece Gianna and Lupe is his wife and they're just beautiful they are a beautiful family a son needs a mother to teach him life's most important lessons over around under and through A son needs a mother to teach him street smarts. As I said, my mother is someone who did not shy away from current events and talking about things that were going on and how to be vigilant uh, because I used to walk to school. So I, she always taught me like, come straight home. If you see somebody follow you, you know what the plan is. Don't allow anybody to touch you inappropriately and don't let anybody put their hands on you. My mother was very open about being self-aware and being vigilant of people who may not have your best interests at heart. A son needs a mother to walk him through his first steps. A son needs a mother to help him make wishes for the future. The end. Thank you, Ma. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your love and your patience and your kindness. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, thank you for all who watched today. We will have another episode of The Silver Chair tomorrow night because, as I said in my last video yesterday, uh, story time is officially going to be Monday, Friday. Excuse me, Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, I will definitely see you all tomorrow night. And big shout out to all of the moms, the young, the old, the fabulous, the everlasting mothers that we have that are confident, that are beautiful, that teach us awesome things, that show us the right direction, that are consistent, that are focused, that are 
go-getters, that are breadwinners, that are people who sacrifice a lot of themselves and a lot of their personal life just to do for you. Please, 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 please. If you have not called your mother or if your mother is no longer with us, I want you to show your mother the utmost love in the best way that you can unapologetically so and let this not be the only time because it should not take a holiday for you to pick up that phone or to make a visit for you to show your mother love y'all have a great day y'all